this video we're going to look at finding the hypotenuse using Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras allows us to find missing sides in a right angle triangles. So we've got two right angle triangles and both of these right angle triangles, a missing side that we're going to try and find is the hypotenuse. We're going to zoom in on this first example uh, over here and then get started. Okay, we have got uh, x is your hypotenuse. Your hypotenuse, remember, is a side that is opposite your right angle. So the longest in any triangle, the biggest angle will be opposite the biggest side and vice versa. So the biggest side is opposite the biggest uh, angle. So in the right angle triangle, the biggest angle is 90 degrees and the hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degrees. So by Pythagoras' theorem, uh, this Pythagoras' theorem could be written lots of different ways. Sometimes it's written c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Sometimes it's written a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. It doesn't matter as long as you realize that in this case, the C is a hypotenuse. In this case, the A is a hypotenuse. So I'm going to use the top one here as C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now, in this case, C is a hypotenuse. So what you want to always do is start with your hypotenuse. So in our example, it was X. So X squared, X was my hypotenuse, remember? And then the other two sides, it doesn't matter which way around you put them. I'm going to put my 8 as my A side, so 8 squared plus 6 squared. And then this is a very nice example. You'll see why in a seconds. So if you do your 8 squared, you'll get 64. If you do your 6 squared, you'll get 36. And they combine nicely. 64 plus 36 gives you 100. So x squared is equal to 100. And the opposite of squaring, remember, is square rooting. So x is equal to the square root of 100. So x is equal to, and this is why it worked out so nicely, x was equal to 10 and remember if there's units use your units so the units are in centimeters in this case so x equals 10 centimeters okay so just run through it very quickly uh, your formula i've used then c squared equals a squared plus b squared and then uh, where c is a hypotenuse so in the, my triangle i identify the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is the the side which is opposite the right angle so x is opposite the right angle so x squared equals and the other two sides were 8 and 6, so x squared equals 8 squared plus 6 squared. Tied that up, you'll get x squared equals 100, Then x is equal to the square root of 100, so x is equal to 10. Okay, in our second example, uh, our triangle is a wee bit off skew, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't make a button of difference. Here in this one, you can still see your y in this case is opposite your right angle, so y is a hypotenuse. I'm just going to write down the formula again, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And remember C, where c squared is, c is the hypotenuse I should say. So in this case, y squared is equal to 8.2 squared plus 5.7 squared. And then we can go from here. So I'm gonna leave my calculator out to do this one. The numbers aren't just as nice. This happens, uh, nothing to worry about. So I'm just gonna do this. And I'm going to say my 8.2 squared, so in my calculator, 8.2 squared. And if I do 8.2 squared, what I get is 67.24. And then I do my 5.7 squared. And 5.7 squared works out to be 32.49. And then y squared is equal to, so just add the two of those together, 32.4, sorry, 67.24 plus 32.49. Uh, so... There we go, it is 99.73, and then y just equals to the square root of that, so square root of 99.73, so square root of your answer, and what I have got, it was 9.98649, there are a few more numbers there on your calculator obviously, but give your answer to a certain degree of accuracy, so I'm just going to go to two decimal places, so uh, my third decimal place is my check figure it's a six which means my second decimal place runs up so 9.99 and that's going to be meters and just say whatever degree of accuracy you've done so for me i've done mine at two decimal places okay so that's how we do uh, finding hypotenuse on a right angle triangle 